Father of us all, gathered here for satsanga in connection with 175th birth anniversary of Shri Krishna. All through the year, satsanga is being conducted at different places in Hyderabad and also in Mat. And already we have started with Shanti Mantra and Nam Sankirtan. Now, reading from Sri Ramakrishna Kathamutam. Sri Ramakrishna Kathamutam Munchi. Chaturam. Dakshneshwara Kali Alayam Noni Sri Ramakrishna Lagadi. Brahma Samajani Ki Chandina. Trailok Chasanyal Padu Padu Padu. Narendra, Surendra, Ma, Inga Pandra Bhakta, Nela Mila Kurchini, Patanu Vintu Nala. Shri Ramakrishna, Chinna Mancha Mila Kurchini, Patanu Vintu Nala. Ayana Inga, Kholu Kholedu, Chetiki, Bhakta Lubesi, Kattu 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 Nala. Ede, Indakshineshwar, it was a common sight, this has been recorded by Mahindranath Gupta, Master Mahashay, and for short, Yam, Ma, with that name he wanted him to be called. He wanted to be absent completely from this whole recording. And then alone a person becomes a real instrument. As long as this I is present, then one cannot become a real devotee of God. Only when this I becomes completely absent, then one becomes a real devotee. And not only that, the grace of God flows through such an instrument, an instrument which is pure, an instrument where there is no ego. And such an instrument was this Master Mahashay, Mahindranath Gupta. And he wanted to remain as Gupta. Guptanga Unadani Kerala Pichcha In the case, Peru Kuda Allah Petrukutana Mano Kathamutam Chuste Ma Ane Rasi Undi In the case, In the case, Evaru Dhani Record Chee Shalani Oka Ilunda Likada Dini Kosam Chirunama Kata Petta Ma Ane Alanti Masko Mahashi Chaptun Naru Karoju Shri Ramachandu Kurchinu Narga Dilo Tharwata Padu Yappudu Shri Ramakrishna Nunte Padu Lu Tharwata Nartanam Bhagavan Namam Chesu Chesu Nartanam Chedam Yoni Yoka Samaan Yudrishya Shri Ramakrishna Lu Bhakti Lu Moolu Tharwata Lu Chendi Unnaar Adhama Tharagati Bhakti Lu Bhagavan Lu Adhugo Akkudu Unnaar Nuntadu Akash Ani Chuk मध्य तरह के भक्तों को भगवान तो लो राधे मध्य लो अंतर्यामी रूपम लो नेलोपनी उन्नाड़ अंतर्ड उत्तम भक्तों को भगवान तो ले सर्वमु आयु उन्नाड़ मनकु कानवस्तु नंदा भगवान तो ने विभिन्न स्वरूप आले अंतर्ड श्री रामचंद्र टॉक्स अबाउट थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ डिवोटिस द फर्स्ट कैटेगरी they show this guy, God is there. For them, God is above. And he is sitting there and is looking at us. And what he does? Whenever we commit mistake, he comes and punishes us. That is the idea of God for many people. And one thing about their God is that he does not come and interfere in all those things that we do. That means God is there, we are here. Of course, they have the faith in the existence of God. That is the beginning of devotion. Devotion to God starts from that step. God is somewhere and I am here. But idea is here is that God exists. And not only that, He is watching us, stripping off us. That is the idea of this first type of devotion. And then, there is the second class of devotees who say that 
భగవంతుడు హృదయ మధ్యంలో అంతర్యామి రూపంలో నెలకొని ఉన్నాడు సో గాడ్ ఈస్ దే ఇన్ అవర్ హార్ట్ ఫర్ దెమ్ గాడ్ హ్యాస్ కమ్ వెరీ అంతర్యామి హీ స్టేయింగ్ ఇన్ ది హార్ట్ అండ్ హీ నోస్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇస్ హ్యాపనింగ్ త్రూ దిస్ బాడీ whatever we speak whatever we think everything you have to understand because he is called antaryami she understands everything he is a witness to all these things so that is the devotion of the second class of devotees you can just imagine the classification first class can shri ramakrishna told and most of us belong to that the second one to come you know how this idea that god is sitting inside us is not so easy theoretically we have no that knowledge but when it comes to that conviction that he is sitting here in our heart and he is listening to whatever we speak and not only that he is our own, very own our being our existence is because of him to develop this idea to develop this faith shraddha is a very very difficult thing. now that is how the devotees life goes on and those devotees are also high class devotees if someone can develop that faith that conviction and do all their action with that conviction perform all their duties with that conviction that god is here in the form of antaryam in develop he is there and because of and him is our existence this idea such a devotee just you can imagine so for such devotees it's everything happens according to the will of god according to the wish of god everything happens according to his will then sri ramakrishna talks about another kind of devotee the highest kind of devotee so this class of devotees what they say భగవంతుడే సర్వము అయి ఉన్నాడు మనకు కాన వస్తున్నదంతా భగవంతుని విభిన్న స్వరూపాలే సో గాడ్ హ్యాస్ బికమ్ ఆల్ దిస్ థింగ్స్ అండ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ వీ సీ డిఫరెంట్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫార్మ్స్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఆల్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫార్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ సహస్ర శీర్ష పురుష సహస్రాక్ష సహస్ర పా that's what purusha sutra says so now whatever that person the devotee sees all our forms of god and god alone highest class of devotee remember that's what vedanta talks about isha vasya nidam sarvam this whole universe is pervaded by god and what the devotee sees god is not only in my heart he is not only above but he is everywhere and he is in the form whatever he sees whoever comes in contact with him and there there is a tremendous devotion i just kind of devotion whatever happens according to the will of god according to the wish of god and it is god who is working through me i know to that for such a devotee whatever he wants he knows that god provides him he does not have any kind of worry but one thing that is there is tremendous attraction towards god because he is constantly in communion with god and he not only sees god above not only in his heart but in each and every living being everywhere that's what shri ramakrishna points out so one day i went and went to offer pushpanjali to divine mother and there i saw the image of shiva chaitanya rupa then shri ramakrishna says once i saw that chaitanya even in divine mother and also in that shiva then of course my worship has come to an end formal worship has come to an end see the same god everywhere when he was you know during his last time shri ramakrishna was not able to take food properly remember tremendous pain throat pain no longer with that body had become weak at that condition the devotees were praying see god speaks to you divine mother speaks to you 
why can't you pray to her to cure this body, cure of this cancer? Why? Sri Ramakrishna asked. Because you cannot take even food. Then what he says? Why? I am eating the mouth of all of you. I am eating through all your mouths. See the tremendous class of devotee, real devotee of the Divine Mother. And such a devotion is our aim. And that is what Sri Ramakrishna wants us to develop, that kind of devotion. Though it starts that God is there in the shrine, or God is there above, God is there in the temple, from there it may start, but slowly it develops. How it develops? By being in satsanga, by namasakirtana, regular prayer to God, show me the path, show me the way, let me understand what is reality, what is the truth, this kind of prayer, constant prayer, surrendering ourselves completely to God and doing all our duties as a worship of God. These are all the methods. Then what happens? Slowly we develop the devotion and slowly we understand the God whom we were seeing above or in the shrine is there in our heart also. And then that realization comes when we develop more and more devotion that same God is everywhere. And this is the class of devotees Sri Ramakrishna wants us to be. So, when we read this Sri Ramakrishna Kathamrita more and more, it's not only about devotion, about jnana, about yoga, about karma, how to live in this world, whether whatever may be our profession, whatever may be our mental makeup, but then ultimately all of us have to go towards God and develop that devotion to God. That is what the message Sri Ramakrishna gives. So that is why Sri Ramakrishna Kathamrita, which is an important, should be integral part of our life, must read every day. So that, you know, again and again, we remind the message of Sri Ramakrishna, which ultimately helps us to fulfill the goal of this human life. That realizing Him, the God, who is our creator, and realizing Him in our heart, and in, in everywhere and thereby developing that tremendous devotion. Om Niranjanam Nityamananta Rupam Bhaktanukam Padrata Vigraham Vai Ishavataram Parameshamidyam Tamrama Krishnam Shirasanam Amo Swami Shitikantanam Jivari Addressu